Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Monkey Putter with another course review from PGA Tour 2K23. Now the course I'm going to be playing today is called Blue Eagle GC, designed by Golfboy6080. Now the course settings that I've gone for are the blue tees at 7,695 yards. It's quite long. Pin position one, the wind speed I've set to medium, and everything else is on the default. And if we have a quick look at the default settings for this course, we've got normal fairways, firm greens, medium green speed, the weather is overcast, and the time of day is afternoon. So without further ado, we'll head off to that first tee and we'll get this round underway. Good crowd turnout today. Now then, the first hole, par four, 500 yards. It's a long one. It's quite a narrow fairway too. Need to try and avoid going left if possible. Oh, it's going to be a bit tight down the right hand side, but I think it's okay. Yep, yeah, that's fine. We've got 182 yards to go. In behind. Dear, that's not a very good swing. Get down, get down. Oh dear. I'll try and chip and putt for par here. Oh dear, that was a very fast swing. Well, it goes down on the card as a par, but it wasn't pretty. Now then, this is a very difficult driving hole. It's a dog leg left, it's a very narrow fairway. Water all the way down that left hand side. This is a tough one. Well, I hit that one a bit slow, but to be honest with you, it was kind of sort of on purpose because I just did not want to hit it fast and go left. Although I have left myself a really difficult second shot out of the bunker. Yeah, I can't get a three iron up that quick. You see, I've got that bank right in front of me there. So this is going to be a layup and it's a difficult layup as well. So Five iron. Can I hope? Hopefully, I can get the five iron up quick enough. Such a tough shot. Very small target. Oh, that's going to go left when it lands. There it goes.
Well, chance to save part. Not much break on this. Couple of pars to start the round, but I'm struggling at the moment. Now then. This is a tricky one as well. Can you see at the back of the green there, if I club up and zoom in, you've got that runoff area just there. It's into the wind. I'm going to go with a four iron, but this is going to have to be hit really well. I've pushed it slightly. It's got to go. Just run off the back edge. Difficult tee shot that one on this par three. Well, I've had three pars and three putts, I think, so far. Just admiring that house there. Wouldn't it be great to live in a place like that? Now then. Par five. Another tricky drive, though. Dog leg left as well, so it's going to be playing long. That's a better swing. Oh, miss the tree. Please miss the tree. Yeah, that's okay. 243 yards to go. Ooh. Actually, that bunker's not a bad place to end up. I think if I hit the five wood, it's going to go long. But that bunker there... It's not a bad place to be. I'm going to go... Ah, oh, the wind's moved around. That is such a shame. Well, the other option is I keep it down this right-hand side with the three iron. Yep, let's go with that. The ball is slightly above my feet. That's a good shot. It's a beautiful setting for a golf course, it really is. Now then. I'll try something here. Maximum loft. Maximum backspin. Oh no. Too fast and they hit it left. Now, not too much break on this one. First birdie of the round. We've got another par five coming up in a couple of holes time. Now we've got a risk reward hole here. It's a short par four. Very, uh, very small target. Tricky, because if you lay up unless we go with a three wood but i'm tempted really tempted to try and get this close to the green the wind is moving around let's give this a go ah 
Oh no, that's in trouble. Oh, you idiot. Now I wish I laid up. Okay. Let's see if we can salvage something out of here. Oh, I've pushed it. That's in trouble. There's a slope there. There it goes. Right, okay, let's try and put that hole behind us. Par 5, 581 yards. Ideally, I know the bunker's there, but I need to try and keep it down that left-hand side if possible. Nope, that's too far left. Ooh, I'm struggling here. Yeah, okay, let's lay up. Pulled it left. That's a nice bounce back birdie. There's a long par four. Looks like it's going to be a difficult green to hit up ahead as well. But first things first, I need to hit that fairway. Oh, I've pushed it right. Get over that bunker. Okay, I'm back on the fairway. A couple of hundred yards to go though. Wind is swirling a bit. I'm tempted actually to drop down to a five iron. No, it's gone left. Stay there. Hit the flag, hit the flag. Oh yes, what a chip. I needed that one. Par four, difficult drive again. Do not want to go left. Oh no. Get lucky. Please get lucky. Will it stay on the fairway? Oh, I got very lucky there. I need to try and find the rhythm of my swing because it's not good at the moment.
That's a good birdie. Look at that for a green. Got plenty of options for pin positions there. Now that's a tough one. Into that slight breeze. I think I'm going to stick with a five iron here, but I really need to improve my swing. That's a better swing. Is it going to be far enough left though? There is a slope there if I can catch it. Oh no! Oh, a couple of yards too far right. This is going to be quick. Let's get it to the top of that slope and then let gravity do its thing. Hopefully get it down to the whole side. Oh, slow down. Pace was quite good, but I got the line wrong. This is a really, really nice course. You can see a lot of time and effort's gone into this. Now then we've got a par five here. I really need a good tee shot here. I'm gonna hit the draw, quite a big draw. Try and get it around those trees. Oh no, oh, I've misjudged it. Oh, I'm in the mulch. 250. Yeah, let's just go with the three iron. That's oh, such a shame. My swing is so bad at the moment. I might have to uh, go to the driving range after this round. See if I can work things out. Hopefully I won't have to recalibrate. Okay, let's try something here. And get down. Oh, it's caught the slope. Oh no. Ah, that's really annoying. Do with another chip in. Ah. Just a par. Feels like a bogey though. That's the hole you really feel like you should be birdying. lay up with this driver yep good drive 30 opportunity. Yeah, good putt. Yeah, there we 
we got another risk reward hole. Now I made a mess of the last one. But I'm gonna have a go at this one. Just gotta be careful with my swing. Oh, I pulled it a little bit. Needs a very kind bounce. It's going to go left. Oh, shit. Stop. Well, it stayed dry, but it's going to be a tricky chip. I've got very little green to work with. And the green runs away from me as well, so... I'm going to really struggle to get down in two from here. Oh, what a shame. Seventy-six to eighty-six percent. That's not good at all. Oh, what a shame! Right, come on. Oh, get up! Get up! I just caught the upslope. Stopped it in its tracks. That's a real shame. And then what have we got here? Three inches downhill. I forgot the speed of these greens. I really can't remember how fast the greens were. I think they were moderate, I think. Just a par. Well, the two short par fours, I've not played very well at all. Now, this is a long par three. Not sure I can get the five iron up over that bump on the green. Let's, let's give it a go. Given it 103%. If that doesn't get there, nothing will. Could be good. Need to slow down now. Take the break. Ah, oh, it didn't. Damn it. That's just a par. I love the way that the course designer has used a lot of crowd um, and a lot of like uh, crowd stands, the hospitality tents, etc. It gives it that kind of championship feel to it and I think that's really nice it gives it a bit more atmosphere than just a a plain course and the course itself is very well designed certainly has its challenges well no it's another bad swing I'm really not playing well at the moment a bit like my real golf Okay, I'm going to have to lay up because I can't get a 4-iron up that quick. So I'm going to have to drop back down to about an 8-iron. Get down. Bite. Bite. Oh, 
Yeah, it's a good par save. Now, as you can see there, they've still got a par five to come at the 16th. Hopefully that'll be a birdie opportunity. The 15th hole is a long, long par four. It's over 500 yards. It's a difficult drive, narrow fairway. Needs a good swing. I've pulled it slightly. Could do the little bounce to the right. Oh, it went to the left. Stay on the fairway. Please stay on the fairway. Just. Well, that flag is tucked right at the back of that long green. It's a small target. Let's give it a bit of loft. Now, I don't want to be too greedy on this. So, like I said, it's a small target. Pin is the ball, sorry, is slightly above my feet. Bite, bite. That's a pretty good shot. I'm pleased with that. Ooh, this is a tricky little putt down the hill. Quite a bit of left to right break on this one. Oh, what a putt. Great birdie. With a par five coming up next as well. Wow, what a hole. Quite simply, do not go right. That's a good drive. Two hundred and thirty five yards to go. It's into that slight breeze. Three iron, I think, is the club. I'm just nervous about this because I've not been hitting my long irons very well for some strange reason. That's a little bit fast. It's well away from the water. But I'm in the heavy rough. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Now we've got a big slope just there. So from about that point onwards, it's quite severely downhill. So we just need to get it over the brow of that bump and let gravity do its thing. 72 to 81%. It's going to release... So I just need to trust that it's going to release enough just to get to the top of that slope. It's quite steep as well, which is a bit worrying. Oh, too hard. That's going to have to stop. And as soon as I hit that, I knew it was too hard. Ah, idiot. Right, I can putt this one. And there's not too much break on this one at all. Just a tiny bit of right to left on this. It's uphill. Tempted to hit it almost straight.
Ooh. <laughs> they thought about it. Okay, now then. 145. It's slightly downhill, so it's going to be playing about 142. Oh, the pitching wedge might do it, but I'm going to have to hit it extremely well. Wind off the left. Well, it's got there. Stay there. Stay there. Yeah, good shot. Yep, that one looks dead straight. On to the final hole, par for 18th. Just avoid that water. So I'm going to favour the left hand side here. Five yards to go. Ball below my feet. Oh, that's a bit fast, unfortunately. It's long and left, that one. Yeah, poor shot. Oh dear. You don't want to go too far on this one. I might, actually, I might putt this one. Still want to try and get down in two if I can. Slow down, slow down. Oh, it's a great effort. Oh, stop. Testy one for par, though. Yeah, good par putt. Well, that is a that is a great course. It really is. It's well designed. A lot of thought has gone into it. It's very challenging in places. Um, there's some good risk reward holes. Um, but you've got to be playing well to score well or um, just use really good course management. Maybe lay up, leave yourself a pitch or a short iron in to try and make that birdie. As you saw, I took a couple of risks and they didn't pay off. But many congratulations to the course designer. That's Golf Boy 6080 and the course is called Blue Eagle GC. So if you've not played that one yet, I highly recommend it. It's extremely good. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button down below and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would really, really appreciate it. Well, take care, everyone, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye now.